Hi everyone, welcome to Robot Shop TV. Tests are continuing at Robot Shop for the ultimate challenge, and we now have results for the very popular Neato robotic vacuum. We will now be able to start comparing robot vacuum results. Let's join Vahan who will explain Neato's performance. Hi Vahan. Hi Julie. Please explain to us the results for the Neato for our 15 different tests. Time to clean a room, challenge one. Neato's very quick at cleaning the room, again, no obstacles, but it does it in like three and a half minutes. That's fantastic. So it gets 30 out of 50 points, an excellent score. And number two, vacuuming debris. You'd think with its very powerful vacuum, it would pick up a lot of the paper. It did really good on the carpet, not as good on the wood, the uh, hardwood floor. And then when you see the nuts and bolts now coming up soon, it seems they're just a bit too heavy for the brush system to pick up and the vacuum really can't suck something that heavy up. So it didn't do so great either on the carpet or on the hardwood floor. And then lastly, with the hair and bits of debris that you'll see right here, now you see it, it did great on the carpet, not as good on the hardwood floor. So I mean, overall it did 80 out of 240 points. Again, it doesn't look that great on paper, but remember, it's an extreme case. This is a decent test and you know it's gonna help the Neato out. Now a sore point for the Neato, it's very loud. They say it sounds like an airplane sometimes taking off. So we penalized at five points for this one because it is so loud. Looks like it's going to be the loudest vacuum we test. It'll have to make these points up in later tests. Now here's where it really shines. Ability to see obstacles. With its ability to build a map, it can avoid the obstacles outright or just barely touch them as it goes around them. On top of that, it's able to avoid or spit out car uh, curtains or cables if it ends up eating them up. So it got 104 points here. That's a huge score. Really well done on this one, Nito. Now when it comes to climbing, it's only able to climb the first height, which is half a centimeter. It's not so great, so keep that in mind if you're looking to buy a Nito. It only got 5 out of 35 points, so that was okay. Now cliff sensors, again, very important. It gets 10 out of 10 points here. It has cliff sensors, and they seem to work quite well. And when it comes to returning to base, it's got the base programmed into the map, so very easy. However, when it gets knocked off a base, it's only able to go back from a one inch distance. Anything further and it can't do it, it's lost. So it gets 10 out of 30 points there. Now these next two tests, the black carpet and the high pile carpet, has no problem with either. It gets 30 points for the both of them, which is a very good score. And let's move on. Now scheduling. This is important too. It's very easy to schedule the Neato. It's very intuitive and it doesn't take much time. It's, it's basically a snap. It gets 60 out of 60 points there. Now here for the battery test, it did 73 minutes about for the runtime on the battery. Coupling that with its very short time to clean a room, you get a 20 out of 40 score. That's really good. Now when it comes to displaying errors, Neato doesn't talk, it displays it on the screen. And even if it gets stuck, if you find it when you come home, it'll keep the error on the screen. So it gets 45 points for this one. That's excellent. Now number 14, cleaning. Everything is really easy to remove, clean, and put back in. It gets 30 out of 50 points for this test. And then finally, the labyrinth. Remember, that home base is built into the map it has, so it's very easy for it to do it. 65 out of 70 points. Thank you for your descriptions, Vahan. We'll meet again shortly for results of our next robot vacuum. My pleasure, Julie. I was glad to explain these robot vacuum results. See you next time. Now let's see a complete Neato robotic vacuum scorecard. In the next few weeks, we'll be testing other robot vacuums. Now let's choose the next robot to be tested. The Samsung Navibot will be tested next. European customers will be happy to see results for this robotic vacuum. You can view more information on our tests and our results on the Robot Shop Ultimate Challenge webpage. See you next time on Robot Shop TV.